so hi hello everyone welcome to the channel and today i will show you how to extract a monthly time series rainfall data using earth engine so let's get started so to extract the time series rainfall data using earth engine let us first define our let us first import our country's boundary into google earth engine so to import our study area boundary into google earth engine I have defined a variable called countries equals to double dot feature collection US DOS that is United States of Department of State large scale international boundary polygon simple 2017 and using this code you can able to import your country by country's boundary into our earth engine and for this analysis I will use a study area Brazil as my study area so to uh, to Define now my study area. I will use a variable called Brazil equals to countries dot filter double a dot filter dot eq country now. So now output as a Brazil. So from a large scale international boundary, we are filtering specifically the country called Brazil. That is our study area for this analysis to extract our monthly time series rainfall data. So to add our layer, that is our uh, Brazil layer, our study area layer into Earth Engine, I have defined map dot add layer Brazil, and curly bracket here refers to default visualization parameter, and output as a Brazil. The layer will be named as Brazil. And to center and uh, zoom to a correct level, we are using map dot center object Brazil. So next step is to uh, import our monthly time series rainfall data into earth engine so to import our uh, time series rainfall data into earth engine i have defined a variable called rainfall equals to double dot image collection ucsb chg and uh, so this specific code is used to extract or import our uh, monthly time series rainfall data into earth engine we are selecting specifically with uh, with a parameter called as precipitation as our parameter so we are selecting specifically by a parameter called precipitation because this time for this monthly time series rainfall data has many parameters so we are specifically requiring a rainfall data for our analysis so i am selecting specifically precipitation as my one of my parameter for acquiring my times monthly time series rainfall data next we are filtering it to our specific time series so that is from 2013 January 1 to 2016 December 31st. So we are filtering using dot filter date with our date that is from 2013 January 1 1 and 2 2016 December 31st. So the other thing about this data is since this data doesn't have a date uh, date ma date month or year, so it just have a system uh, start time. So basically this data doesn't have any uh, date time or uh, month so we want to write a function that defines or want to extract the what extract the rainfall information based on a uh, day month and year so we are writing specifically this function in order to extract the rainfall data of uh, base using our so writing a function to extract a day month and year so to extract our uh, rainfall data based on a day, month, and year, we are writing a function called map uh, function image, and we are defining a variable called day equals to double e dot a double e dot number img img dot get. So this is a system start time. So we are specific as uh, we are writing a code to extract our rainfall data. That is to extract our data based on a month and year find a variable called month double e dot number d dot get so the monthly uh, data and similarly we define a variable called y double e dot number there d dot get so here so return image dot and image uh, that is img dot set that refers to our returns our monthly and yearly uh, rainfall data basically this function uh, what does is it converts our system start time uh, into a calendar uh, calendar based uh, that is uh, a calendar based uh, info that is data where we can able to uh, convert our system ta start time into 
based on uh, into day, months, and year. And after that, we can able to uh, extract the information that is our rainfall data using uh, using our monthly and yearly uh, time series. So let me explain this function once more. So we are writing a function to extract the day, month, and yearly data, the yearly rainfall data. So we are writing an algorithm that is dot map function. I am that is image. We are writing an algorithm for uh, all the images, all the image. So we are writing an algorithm, uh, algorithm for each image to extract. That is from a system start time. We are extracting the day, month, and yearly data. So this function that is ee dot date that converts our uh, system start time into a calendar date. So this is a calendar date. So from this calendar uh, date. We will extract our monthly and yearly uh, data and returns the image that is a uh, monthly and yearly uh, data so we have defined using return img dot set month defines m and year defines y so next is uh, to extract our uh, monthly and yearly data we need to specify the series that is our time that is the list of uh, the series from the month so that is from uh, january to december 1 to 12 and similarly specify the list of years you want to acquire or extract the rainfall data so for that we're defining a variable for years double e dot list from 2013 to, to 2000 uh, 2013 to 2016. so the last need of the function is uh, is by year and month so we had for that define a variable called by year and month so in this function uh, in this function we want to do is to extract our uh, rainfall information that is to extract our rainfall information and, and display it as a years and uh, display it as a year and month for that i have defined a variable called by year month equals to double dot image collection from the image from images so the other thing other thing uh, we want to do is is to acquire the the total uh, rainfall that is the total rainfall in yearly as well as the monthly wise so to acquire the total rainfall from yearly and monthly rainfall i have defined dot select precipitation so we are selecting the precipitation parameter of this image collection so we are selecting precipitation parameter of this image collection and dot sum and the sum is it calculates the total uh, total rainfall in that particular year and month so to calculate the total rainfall in the uh, total rainfall in particular year or uh, in that year or a month i've defined uh, defined as dot set year referring to y and dot set month referring to m so basically the function what the this function does is it basically uh, gives us the total amount of rainfall yearly as well as monthly wise gives the total amount of rainfall for yearly as well as for monthly wise so next is the, uh, we might use a projection information so we have defined a variable called projection so i had defined a variable called projection equals to w dot image rainfall dot first and dot projection so we are technically we are getting a projection information from our uh, image collection from this image collection, we're getting our projection information. So the last bit of our code is uh, just we are applying it. So the last bit of our code is to apply, uh, is to apply. So we have already uh, done a code. So all this code, uh, so all this code refers to. So all this bit of code is uh, what is doing is for each image. So it will convert into uh, a date, month, and a year. So this function that uh, what it does is it summarizes the total amount of rainfall in, in a month and uh, in a month and a year. So basically, this function converts the, the rainfall data into a month and year, and this function that converts our uh, rainfall data that is our it summarizes our rainfall data for yearly as well as monthly.
So once we have this, we have to summarize it uh, using our study area. That is our uh, region of interest, Brazil. So our study area is Brazil, our region of interest. So basically, well, we are defining a variable called rainfall Brazil to extract a rainfall data from our study area Brazil. So equals to by year month. So by year month refers to this variable. That is, in this variable, we are converting our, that is, we are taking our date, uh, yearly and monthly rainfall data and summarizing. That is, a total amount of rainfall in that month and total amount of rainfall in that year. So we are uh, referring to this variable. And uh, next is dot map function img that refers to our. So that is the map uh, dot map function img refers to our the our uh, rainfall data. So refers to this one. So we are previously we converting that into a, a date. So day, month, and year yearly wise, we are converting our image from day, monthly, and yearly wise. So it is referring to this data, whether it is converted to a day, month, and yearly data. And next is we are defining a variable called features, referring to our study area Brazil. Or you can also use any polygon of your interest to acquire the rainfall data of that particular uh, month or year. The so dot map, the function this uh, refers to, that is we are uh, acquiring, that is refers to the acquire, refers to acquiring the data of month, uh, month date, monthly wise and uh, yearly wise. That is we are acquiring monthly and yearly wise data. And we next we are applying is reduce IMG dot reduce region features uh, double e dot reduce dot mean and thousand refers to a scale and uh, this refers to our projection the projection information we have specified here and uh, next is flatten and we have finally output our rainfall data that is print uh, rainfall brazil dot limit 10 so basically this function refers to summarizes our uh, summarizes our uh, monthly and rainfall data to uh, limiting to a 10 so basically this is our extraction function that is the unit to uh, that is we are extracting our rainfall data monthly and yearly wise and uh, we are summarizing that is the output as rainfall brazil and limit to 10 so we are limiting to our summary as 10 now let me uh, run this code and let us check this code is option called uh, run script click run so now we can able to see that it is computing the features uh, feature collection is computing so now you can able to see in the console section we have our displayed our feature collection details so we are limited only uh, up to 10 so first 10 months so in order to show you the output of this uh, data so i'll show you that so this is our feature collection with features we have 10 uh, elements so we have limited by 10 elements so i have specified here so let me check these features so feature one so let's go to the properties so now we can able to see that in the month uh, of January month, the main total amount of rainfall that is received is around 248 millimeter. So date is around 2013, January 1 and uh, 1. And its month is month 1 refers to January. And similarly, for second month, let us go to the properties. So in the second month, we have the month 2 refers to February. And the mean amount of rainfall that is received is around 231 millimeter. And similarly, the month five, uh, month three refers to. Uh, let me show you that. So month uh, this feature two, referring to, that is uh, the month three that is March. And total amount of uh, uh, mean amount that is uh, total amount of rainfall is around 233 millimeter. And from now we can able to uh, see that we have uh, acquired our monthly rainfall uh, summary, our monthly rainfall summary details. So now uh, let us export this uh, export this data as a CSV file format to our uh, 
Google account. So to do that, uh, to export the feature collection, we define export.table and rainfall brazil referring to this variable that is our rainfall uh, brazil to extract our monthly and yearly summary of our rainfall data of our rainfall in that study area the study area brazil so output as rainfall brazil and we are now exporting the file format exporting file format is csv and printed uh, print as export or the output as our export rainfall brazil now we can able to uh, see that in the task section we have our uh, data that is the unsubmitted task we can uh, run this to export our uh, rainfall data into our google account so do the to do that we are going to run this go to the option called run click run so now we are can able to see that this is our uh, uh, the the windows that is that is going to export our rainfall data to a csv for csv folder that is our csv uh, data csv uh, csv file type so it is going to export to my drive so you can also uh, name your drive folder of your choice and file name is rainfall brazil and file format is csv now click run So now we can able to view that it is running it is converting our rainfall data into a csv file format that is our excel file you can able to open in the excel file so basically after getting a tick mark after this process is running now after getting a tick mark the rainfall data will be available the rainfall data will be available in your google drive you can access it and uh, you can able to see that uh, a mean rainfall and uh, yearly rainfall data in our Excel, uh, Excel file format. So now we can able to view that our rainfall data has been uh, exported as a CSV file. Now your data will be available in your Google Drive and check the check, uh, check that out. So in this video, I have shown you how to uh, extract the monthly time series rainfall data in using our Earth Engine. And thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel and give us a like.